Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And he was my TikTok profile picture for a while. Good thing I'm not the one flying in a plane sometime soon. <laughs> so all true. my love, all my kisses. You don't know what you've been missing, oh boy. People get mad religious when they fly. <laughs> it's like, bro, you should be religious the whole time. I'm like, I'm so like proud to be Christian when I enter an airport. <laughs> I love Buddy Holly so much. Oh my gosh. <sighs> like his music. I have for years now. Anyone know uh any anyone know that picture of me in the vinyl store where I'm sitting there and like I'm looking at the records? I was looking at Buddy Holly records. Uh I was in the I was in the rock and roll section looking at Buddy Holly records. And Tony bought me this specific record that day. Tony bought this for me. So maybe Tony has the curse on him too. Tony's a Chad. Tony took that picture. Tony is a Chad. Are these like actual pictures of Buddy Holly? Where? Like all the ones I'm looking at like on the internet. His face just seems so odd to me. <laughs> like it's like too perfect? Yes. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. But they are, yeah. Like it's such a smooth face. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, Josh, your tweet. What did you tweet? <laughs> yeah. I do have Ricky Nelson vinyls. Josh, read the tweet. Uh, uh, I said, if I die before having sex because this nigga Ilya is showing Buddy Holly songs on stream, I'm going to be fucking pissed in the act. <laughs> Unironically, I'll go find this motherfucker and just like yell at him for that shit happening. Because I know he's gonna die too. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, imagine I don't die. <laughs> that will just be some bullshit. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you know what's fucked? Now all people are gonna be like scared of listening to Buddy Holly's music, but it's fucking great. I love Buddy Holly music. Y'all should actually go listen to Buddy Holly. <laughs> A lot of his records are pretty good. Like, this is just, like, this, this, no way this, it, like, would affect you. <laughs> it sounds like you're coping right now, bro. <laughs> I mean, I have to. I've been at it for years. I mean, if you're still alive and you've been at it for years, we'll <laughs> Listen, I flew. My flight back home was the day of Buddy Holly's death from Florida. <laughs> and I listened to Buddy Holly that day. You were, pushing it. You were really pushing it. <laughs> My Miami to Atlanta flight, February 3rd. His daughter died at 22. Yeah, it's like some Kennedy shit. Like, it's like a Kennedy curse, but you're not going to, like, not talk about the Kennedys because they're haunted, right? Because that's them. Yeah, I think it's just him, bro. The Kennedys are so fucked. When did he die? February 3rd, 1959. Oh, my love. Oh, my kisses. Why would Buddy Holly be in hell? I don't think he did anything bad, did he? Just died. <laughs> that is full. What is Buddy Holly's birthday? Ought to be mine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, saying this is a reincarnation of Buddy Holly. <laughs> that would be funny as fuck. No, it's September 7th. I have no attachment to September 7th. Sleep paralysis is often caused by anxiety and stress. 
I don't think I've ever actually had sleep paralysis. Is that when you, like, can't move or something? It's when you exit your body while you're asleep and you, like, look at yourself from outside yeah, your body. Yeah, you can't, you can't move. move. Life. I've seen some crazy shit, though, relating to, like, um... I think they even tried this in, in, in the MK Ultra experiments of people being able while they're sleeping in one room to like leave. The, the claim was that people were able to sleep in one room, then see into another one and write and read back numbers that were written on a whiteboard. It's probably like from like subconscious. How would you see it? I don't, oh hell no! <laughs> that was the claim, which I would like. That would piss me off because that would prove like dualism. So true. <laughs> so I gotta make sure that shit's not real. I'm mean, like, I have to reconstruct, reconsider. Everything. <laughs> this man has to reconsider. <laughs> no, that would be funny you yourself. see like the guy get stabbed you in the head, and you're like, all right, all right. Okay, bro. I'm gonna send that shit to my friend now. I gotta look this up. <laughs> A temporary inability to move or speak while falling asleep or falling. Okay, I've had that before. That's what it says. Sleep paralysis. We have with us Buddy Holly. Hi, Buddy. Hi, Ronnie. How are you? Pretty good, thank you. Buddy, could you tell us some of the big records that you and your group have had? Well, we've had uh, That'll Be the Day it was our first one when Peggy Sue followed it, and along with Oh Boy and Maybe Baby, and then uh, Early in the Morning. And then our latest one is pretty easy. Well, quite a bit. Do you know the total number of all your records, how much they've sold so far? Uh, we don't have any idea, Ronnie, of what's sold. We figure somewhere around four or five million. Somewhere around. Four or five million. Tremendous volume of records. Uh, how many are in your group? There's three of us. <laughs> yeah, I actually love his. I actually love his voice. Uh, and listening to you, buddy, it seems like y'all could do something in jazz. I like jazz, actually, and it's kind of in uh, with rock and roll in one way, and then it's. For some reason. Well. His fucking voice. Or is that just me? Isn't that like how majority of people at that that time talked? Listen, his brother is literally still alive, y'all. Okay? (laughs) He took that picture in his bathroom? What picture? He just thought that I hung. And... Uh, Joe B. Oh, shit. Uh, the fucking, uh, members of, or they were up until recently. It's this Man Sanders, believe you me, were. No, uh, it's too low quality. The one and only Buddy Holly. Buddy Holly. Enough where it actually like made his voice sound. This good. is Ronnie King. Watch for. Uh, finally, buddy, you know there's many mediums of that you can present yourself to the entertainment field, uh, such as the stage and the records, nightclubs. He's on Ed Sullivan. Uh, which do you prefer the most? 
I prefer the one-nighter tours, such as we're on, the uh, large rhythm and blues type package shows. You feel that you can get the most out of your audience. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can you can do your four or five songs, and and really, I mean, it feels good to play to an audience that's watching instead of an audience that's either uh, uh, interested in something else, like in nightclubs, you know, there's a lot going on that sometimes they're interested in something besides the act on stage, and then uh, in your dances, well, they're more interested in their dancing, of course. Yes, you feel your audience a lot more. Mm -hmm. well, The crickets. Now, Texas boys, do it. Red and chat. Help.